friends, welcome to Coast Kids Preschool at Home. Isn't it cool that even though we can't meet together at church, we can still meet together in your home? I think that's pretty crazy. All right, I've got a special surprise for you guys. I thought it would be great to introduce you to my friend Gloria, who's going to join us this morning. Come and say hi, Gloria. Oh, hi guys. It's great to meet you. How are you feeling about everything that's been going on this week, Gloria? Oh, well, Phoebe, I find it a bit scary, but I also like being at home doing fun things with my family. Yeah, so do I. You guys might be feeling a little bit like Gloria as well. It's a bit strange to be at home all day, eh? But you know what? God is always looking after us and keeping us safe no matter where we are or what we're doing. That's right! Gloria is here to talk about this morning's story with us. What have we been learning about recently, Gloria? Well, in church for the past few weeks, I heard that you guys have been learning about how God created the world in just seven days. That's right. And today we're going to learn a little bit more about what else happened when God created the world. Wow, I can't wait to hear about that. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Earlier this week, Gloria and I sent you guys some coloring in pages in the mail to do after this morning's story. No worries if you haven't got yours yet, it should be on its way. Alrighty, let's get started with this morning's story. The Beginning, Genesis Chapter 1 In the beginning, the world was empty. Darkness was everywhere, but God had a plan. God separated the light from the darkness. Let there be light, he said, and the light turned on. He called the light day, and he called the darkness night. This was the end of the very first day. Then God said, I will divide the waters. He separated the waters in the clouds above from the waters in the ocean below. He called the space between them sky. This was the end of the second day. Next, God rolled back the waters and some dry ground appeared. He made plants of many shapes and colors. He made mountains, hills and valleys. This was the end of the third day. God put a shining sun in the sky for daytime. He put a glowing moon and twinkling stars in the sky for nighttime. This was the end of the fourth day. On the fifth day, God made swishy fish and squiggly creatures to live in the ocean. Then God made birds to fly across the sky. On the sixth day, God made animals to creep, crawl, hop and gallop. Then from the dust, God made the most wonderful creature of all. A person. God named him Adam. On the seventh day, God rested. Adam and Eve, Genesis chapter 2. God had planted a beautiful garden for Adam in a place called Eden. A river th flowed through the garden. Adam loved his new home. His job was to name all the animals and care for the garden. Adam loved all the animals, but he could not find a friend that was just right for him. So God created a woman. Adam named her Eve. She was just right for Adam. Adam and Eve loved each other. Together they took care of God's garden. The Sneaky Snake, Genesis chapter 3. Many trees grew in the Garden of Eden. God told Adam and Eve, you may eat the fruit from any tree except for one. Never eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now there was a sneaky snake in the garden. One day the snake saw Eve near the special tree. It hissed. Did God really tell you not to eat the fruit from this tree? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God. It said, you should try some of this tasty fruit. If you eat it, you will be like God. You'll be able to tell the difference between good and evil. The fruit looked tasty. Eve remembered what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then Eve gave some to Adam. He took a bite too. As the sun was going down, Adam and Eve heard God walking through the garden. 
He was looking for them. Adam and Eve hid among the trees. They were afraid. What have you done? God asked them. Did you eat the fruit from the forbidden tree? Adam said, yes, but Eve gave it to me. Eve said, yes, but the snake tricked me. God told the snake, because of what you did, you will always crawl on your belly. Then he told Adam and Eve, because you disobeyed me, you can no longer live in the garden. Adam and Eve left the garden. God placed angels and a flaming sword to guard the entrance. Adam and Eve would not be allowed in the garden again. Oh, hello. All right, so those stories have told us a bit about God's good creation and how the whole world began. Isn't it amazing that God made the whole world? It's important for us to remember that God made you and me and that he loves us so much. It's a bit sad, sad that the snake tempted Adam and Eve to go against God's plans for them though, eh? That must have made God very sad. Alright Gloria, I wanted to talk to you about some of the things in this morning's story. Oh, okay Phoebe, fire away! So, what was Adam's job again? Oh, I know. He named the animals and took care of the garden. Oh, that's right. And God warned Adam and Eve not to do something. What was that? He said they should never eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. And did you see that sneaky snake? He whispered something in Eve's ear. Oh, yes, baby. The sneaky snake told Eve to try some of the fruit that God warned them not to eat. Oh, no. Did Eve eat the fruit? Yes, she did. She ate from the tree, which means she disobeyed God. We can see from the story that although Adam and Eve were not in the garden anymore, God was still with them no matter what. Today we've talked a bit about God's good creation and also learned a bit about Adam and Eve and the snake that tempted them to do bad things. It was so much fun hanging out at your house today. Over the next few weeks, we're going to meet together every Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. So ask mum and dad to help you join in with us. Also, I know that you guys are great at colouring in, so don't forget to decorate your pages after this. And remember, God made you, he loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend. See you next week. Bye. Bye.